What is going on guys? Pink Place here today. Starting off with a silver chest. Not too bad. I got an epic the last time I watched an ad. If you're unfamiliar with how the chests go, I believe it's wood and silver. Uh, then, or no, what is it? It's like wood, bronze, silver, gold, epic. And epic has, just for a frame of reference, I think it had... 1500 coins compared to the 165 it had 10 nitros i want to say it had somewhere around 50 vehicle upgrades and 50 editor items i'm not 100 percent sure on that um but it is it's substantial enough that when you open one it's it's pretty freaking amazing so we got two nitros three handles eight spark plugs four rocks three spikes in our first chest Oh, Rexy, you just want to be in all the videos today, don't you, hun? We're going to open our second chest. And we are going to start it off with... Let's see. 80 coins. We have one nitro. Four tank caps. Three handles. Four metal fence. And our second crate. Or box. I don't really know what you want to call it. 166 coins, two nitros. Oh, that's fucking sweet. Hat of the ugly. Uh, nitro amount, <laughs> steering wheel. I can't get over that hat. Three manual elevators, four small gears. Oh, yeah, in my epic thing, I got like 39 big gears. So that's a little bit overkill on that. 82 coins, one nitro, six spark plugs, a bucket of sand, four rocks. Sweet. Let's go ahead and do some upgrades on the car. We got some studs for extra traction. We got some gear oil spray for extra speed. We're going to up the nitro amount and up the nitro boost. And I really like that hat, so we're going to switch to that. I also got, where is it? The fighter pilot hat. I think that's pretty funny. Um, but for now, that's hilarious. I really enjoy that. So maybe we'll do the bag on this head. And we will do like the fighter pilot or something different on our motorcycle once we transition over there. We're going to start with some races here. I am gunning. Oh, this one's don't move. Another automatic level. I have told you guys exactly how I feel about these. Um, but we are gunning for episode or, or like level 100 here. Geez, a little bit of lag there. We're going to gun for level 100, um, which shouldn't beat all oh, that levels what it says don't move you killed me and it says don't move what ah oh, fuck it i'm moving i'm driving this one out that's rude man you don't lie to me like that don't move cheeky little bastard so uh we're going for level 100 um and then maybe we will pop over and start doing some motorcycle races too but for now uh i'm focused on I'm, I'm going to attempt to in the next few days get enough out of crates holy cow get enough out of crates that i can uh go ahead and upgrade my truck or car or whatever you want to call it to 300 cc and I'm also kind of just trying to stack coins so that, oops, so that once, goodness, ugh, I need to focus. But so that once we get to the motorcycle, I can just outright get it from, I think it's at 79cc right now because I did do a little bit of work on it when I was first playing the game. But we can hopefully get it from 79cc all the way to like... I don't know, 200 would be pretty crazy, so maybe we'll shoot for something smaller. How about like 150? Just right off the bat, and then we'd be cruising through the first few levels. It'd be crazy easy. We'd be just beasting in live races against 64cc losers. Dang it. So I played earlier today, I played this map that was like a fan-created one, one of those new ones that you can get gems for. Um, and it was called Longest Dig Ever, and I wish that I, re I recorded it because it was whole. It was so frustrating because it was literally two and a half minutes. I, I assume that they picked like an extra large dome. It was two and a half minutes of digging through that like muddy shit all the way to the bottom, 
and I got second. I dug for two and a half minutes and got second. Like, oh my god, that was frustrating. Wow, I ran into that. Good going. Ugh, anyways. It's whatever. What was the use of that? Why? Anybody else a little confused? Let's get that coin. Every coin counts. Anyone else confused on why that elevator was there? Because I sure am. I don't know if any of you guys have it also, but this coin magnet is pretty magnificent. Is this another one of those stupid... Why? Why are you here? Okay, that makes a little more sense. But what was the first one all about? It literally had zero relevance to the level at all. Like, if you didn't take it, you might have been faster. It's called a bit of everything. There was... N what? Where was the crusher? Is that what it's called? The thing that just pops down on your head. 99% impossible. I'm gonna do it on the first try. Check this out, son. Check this out. I'm gonna backflip because I can. Uh, maybe backflipping was a bad idea. <laughs> Shoot. Alright, well, 99% impossible means I have 99 more tries. And then eventually I'll perfect it, right? Let's not do a backflip there, because I'm not trying to gain too much speed anymore. Let's do a backflip here. Uh, also a bad idea. But I'm going to keep the bag with me. I'm going to push it all the way to the end. That's the new... Oh, it broke my bag. Dicks. No. Oh, my goodness. Are we stuck in this? What if I flip out of it? Can I flip out of it? Oh, that was tight. I didn't know you could actually do that. Gosh, get out of here. There we go. Oh, uh, no. Okay. All right. Second try. 99. Oh, 99% impossible. My ass. Little Brayden L10 or Leo. I don't know. One of the two. You're a liar. You, my friend, are a liar. All right. We are going to do some live races here. Hopefully, my goal is to get into the next league, which I believe is at 1100 trophy count. That'd be nice because you get larger rewards so it always helps you know if you get maybe one extra part or something like that it's small but it helps uh we're gonna get out of oh pablo meaty pablo chill fam oh he's got the cat on his head you know i feel like the more i see that the more i'm kind of glad i don't have it damn it pablo did a flip and i didn't so i gotta use that ah dang it uh, I'm just gonna take the L on that one. That's fine. Whatever. Bloomfield, you have 77 dislikes now. Ah, uh, Jake, this is your first track. Let's go, Jake. I'm gonna shred your first track. That's what I think. I'm gonna do a backflip. I should have done a double there. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, in other news, current events. The Olympics are on right now, and I'm cheering on my boys at USA Basketball. We are going to just kill every- what the hell? Your first track sucks dick, Jake! Gah! I can't finish! I'm just gonna blow up. Ugh. At Alex, if any of my friends are watching that gets that reference. I had this kid in high school, his name was Alex. Um, I don't even remember how many times. But anyways, his girlfriend kept letting him hit it. And he kept hitting it, and then, like, right when he'd get about to the, the glory times, his girlfriend would just be like, nah, you can't. We're done. So we called him, uh, the finisher. Like, we, there was just a lot of finishing jokes, because, theoretically, he never got to finish. Which is, it's a little sad. R.I.P. But, you know, it happens. Any, oh yeah, what was I talking about? Olympics. My boys at USA Basketball playing China tonight, and we're going to kick their ass. We we beat China, I want to say, a little under 50. Maybe over. One of the two. Hi, Rexy. Yeah. So we beat him the first time, like 100 and... I don't know. It was about like 105 to 50, something like that. And we're going to slay him again tonight. Uh... I'm going to put a bet on DeMar DeRozan actually throwing down that 360. Because if you haven't seen it, go ahead and Google it. It's definitely worth the Google. He tried to throw down a 360 on one of the Chinese guys. 
And the weird thing about the Chinese team is that, like, typically you think of Chinese people as, like, really short and, you know, whatever. That might be racist. I don't know. I don't think it is, personally, but stereotypically Chinese people are short people. And the Chinese basketball team is just like a bunch of fucking huge, like, I don't even know. They're not Chinese. It's ridiculous. They're like all seven footers, like Yao Ming up in this motherfucker. And I don't understand it because, I don't know. I just, I'm so used to hearing. Wow. All right. I need to focus on this level before I end the episode here. I'm, you're just so used to hearing Chinese people or like understanding that Chinese people are stereotypically short But their whole team is just like a bunch of huge dudes and that's cool <laughs> But the problem is huge doesn't translate to good In basketball it helps, but it doesn't necessarily translate to you being amazing at the game So I'm gonna put two bets down USA beats China by 45 or more, and I'm going to put my second bet down as USA, one of the USA basketball players is going to throw down a 360. I don't know who yet, but one of them is. Wow, this is, this is, you know what? Well, okay. I gotta just, oh, just, I'm, yep, I'm just going to, oh, hey, that was kind of cool, actually. I think he's last place. Let's just gun for not last place. Isn't that always a great thing to think about?